Hey guys, welcome to Synergize. My name's Greg, this is Lindsay. Like today on social media, we put up a little post there, letting you know how we can get to your beach abs in 12 easy steps. And on this video, we're gonna go through all 12 steps with you. Gonna show you a couple of the exercises that's on the social media post. Okay, and you guys can get abs in 90 days or less ready for the beach in your sexy bikini, okay? So the first thing we're gonna go through is we're gonna go through burpees, okay? So the burpees, nice and easy. We're gonna stand feet hip distance apart. We're gonna drop our legs down towards the floor, hands touching. You're gonna to step out your back, drop right down as far as you can with a push up. Then you're gonna push yourself back up again, bend your knees and do a little jump, okay? So we'll do one more time. There we go. So hands to the floor, jump or step back, all the way down, and up we go and jump, okay? So me and Lindsay are gonna do a couple of these together, ready? Here we go, down. Down, drop, down, up, jump, cool, down, up. That's it, up, all the way, one more. Nice. Yeah. Okay guys, there's your burpees. Next one. To reduce sodium is really important because sodium actually will make you hold water. And if you're holding water or you have water retention, you won't be able to see that nice sexy six pack that you're gonna get through all the training. So make sure you reduce your sodium guys. Keep an eye on your food. Use Himalayan salt where you can and try not to use any table salt. Okay, medicine ball twist. So, what we're gonna do guys, is Lindsay's gonna get a tree kid medicine ball. We're gonna sit on the floor. And these are Russian twists. So, tennis ball, twist side to side, feet off the floor a couple of inches, touching each time. Trying to keep the body really solid, guys. Make sure you're getting right into the sides of these obliques. If you can do 10 each side, you probably need two sets. Okay? Okay, next thing, fiber. So, fiber is really important because it helps to clean up the digestive system to absorb toxins and the quick and easy way of doing this is to use flaxseed guys. So get a tablespoonful of flaxseed, put a pint of water, stir it vigorously, drink it in one go and have it 10 minutes before your first meal in the morning and then you can have it 10 minutes before bedtime. Okay guys, so this is now what we're going to show you is the oblique V-sits. So we're going to try and get into the corners of the abs guys across this section here. So rather than just focusing always in the front bit, we're going to try and do the side bits as well. So here's what's going to happen, Lindsay's going to bring her left leg up and she's going to touch your toes with her right hand, back down again, and she's going to switch it over. Nice. So we're getting right into the corner, guys, of the abs. Now, a little option here is to bend the knee slightly. And you're going to literally come up and just touch it, yeah? And what you could also do is you could just touch the thigh. If your flexibility is a little bit challenged, you can go up and just touch the thigh, guys. So that's your reset or fix. All right? Great. Protein is very important guys, you must make sure you take a protein in your food plans because every time you train you want to repair those muscles afterwards and the best way of doing that is to look for protein guys so they can rebuild, repair and regenerate. And also protein is also very good for metabolism, helps stimulate metabolism but it's very uh, slow digestion compared to carbohydrates and that way you're going to get a nice extra six pack in no time at all. So hanging leg raises guys, normally we do hanging leg raises from bar like this and bring your legs up towards your, your uh, waistline. If you don't have a bar of access to that guys, you can do it this way. So, two legs come up in there at once. You're going to press your back into the ground as hard as you can. Lower the legs down and you go as long as you can keep your back into the ground. And then you're going to come up, but you're trying to do it with control guys. So squeeze in the abs as you control it and you go down as low as you can. So if you can get down towards the floor, that's great. But make sure you keep your back pressing down guys. Okay, and the option is to bend the knees. And what you can do here is you lower the legs down. Touch with the heels, come back up again, and that's your option for the hanging leg raises if you don't have a bar, guys, okay? Okay, the next important thing in the food, guys, is to make sure that you stop eating sugar. Basically, sugar is a carbohydrate, will uh, spike your insulin, and you will actually cause uh, your body to store a little bit more fat than you're trying to burn off. So particularly if you're trying to lean out and trying to get ready for the beach, guys, it's important to keep your sugar at minimum. Best thing to do is use uh, uh, carbohydrates like sweet potato, uh, any type of rice is okay, gluten-free yolks, uh, beans are fine, but just watch them refined sugars, guys, and refined carbohydrates. Guys, this is my scene climbers. What's going to happen now is Lindsay's going to go into plank position, and what we're going to do is we're going to show you in slow motion, first of all. You're going to bring one knee up towards the chest, try to keep the foot off the floor. That's your basic mountain climber. And what we're going to do now, guys, you're just going to speed up a little bit. So from here, you're going to go nice and fast, bring the knees in, nice and tight, and you might do 100 in one round, and then all done. Okay, great. The next important thing, guys, is to make sure you keep your grains to a minimum. Once again, grains, carbohydrate like bread, pasta, and any type of wheat you want to try and hold off to a minimum, guys. 
especially if you're gluten-free or you have gluten intolerance, you want to keep an eye on that. Uh, the best thing to do is make sure you've got plenty of lean proteins, plenty of fats, and keep the carbs to a minimum. Next one is sprints. So, sprints, you can do sprints on the spot in between sets. So you could be in the gym doing your weight training session, and instead of standing there, going onto your phone, or chatting to your buddies, you might do some sprints instead, guys, to try and keep the metabolism up nice and high, and keep the lactate going. So with sprints, guys, we're gonna get the knees nice and high, use the arms, I'm gonna sprint here for 20 seconds. Yeah, that's it, yeah, cool. Ready? Awesome, well done. Okay, so you'll do that in between sets, guys, and that way you're gonna keep your heart rate nice and high, and you'll burn fat. Okay guys, so in the last tip of 12, it's important to seek a professional weight loss program using a professional coach. You want to make sure that your coach has got certification, that he just hasn't done it online on the weekend, and you want to make sure that they have a good experience of showing people how to do this weight safe and effective way. They should have transformation pictures in their gym or facility, or in their brochure that you can see, or you'll be able to ask their clients, hey, is this, you know, is this a, a program that's going to work for me? My name is Greg Marsh, this is Lindsay, we're here at Synergize Weight Loss Centre guys. You can click on the link below or above for more information, okay, and we'll see you next time.